Hello YouTube! This is a new work in progress series that will follow my custom build of the ARC-75 Gundam. Redesigned by Hajime Kotoki, this 1-100 scale Master Grade kit was released in the early 2000s alongside the ARC-78-4. I stumbled upon a more recent redesign by mechanical designer Kiyoshi Takigawa. I was inspired to try my hand at scratch building a version of this unique backpack and thruster design. I began this build by blocking out the major forms using a combination of kit bashing and simplified scratch building to construct my forms, check their proportions, and how they might attach and function. Then I used masking tape and blue tack for the test fitting. Now let's continue the build. So these were the, some of the first parts that I scratch built. Um, these have since been uh, shaped and beveled on the corners, the plate in the back. Um, I think I might use Tamiya putty to um, even this out a little bit and so I can add maybe a little bit of a bevel. Um, I still need to attach the uh, ball joints for the skirt and maybe a couple small plates here um, um, as well as some, some, panel, oops, some panel lining um, to come. These are a little bit earlier stage, um, but uh, they are due next for a putty pass um, to fill in these gaps here and then bevel the edges like the other one. Um, but uh, I think these will work out pretty okay for the back, as well as adding the, the ball joint on the back to attach it. It's more modifications than I thought I was going to end up doing, but uh, since this is the first time sc scratch building, um, more than a few minor things, uh, it's definitely been a useful process. Um, so the modifications I'm working on for the the, the backpack portion. So n normally here is going to be attached some additional thrusters and um, propellant tanks, um, which are also going to be modified, um, but I wanted to change the silhouette of the backpack here to protrude, um, but also needed to keep the, the thrusters here um, in mind so this couldn't be too thick, as well as a place to mount um, the rear um, thruster extension. Did a little bit of reshaping on this as well, um, beveled sides here. Um, this is going to need some some uh, thin cement and probably an extra layer of plastic around the outside. Um, and I think I figured out the mechanics of how this is going to work um, with some tubing and some other pieces um, so that it gets a little bit of rotation here um, as well as a, a bridge, a point to bridge between the two. Um, and it's going to telescope a bit as well. Um, I think I figured out both mechanisms and also they'll be detachable so it'll be easier to paint. Um, and so this guy, back to the backpack, um, so I can just held on there right now with blue tack but it's going to be um, finished with uh, Milliput or Tamiya epoxy putty um, to get a flush um, look between this piece and this piece. So all this center stuff will be filled. This piece is a little bit wider. I cut it down the center and uh, removed a few millimeters. Um, it's hollow in the inside here and that has to accommodate um, this protruding piece here um, because I might be mounting some parts through here for the attachments. It's been a lot of back and forth, especially to get it to fit, fit correctly. Um, but I think this will work out just fine. So instead of f fixing these seam lines here, I added a, uh, a bevel around the outside so that oops, looks a bit more natural. Um, and I'll still be able to separate it, but I'll be able to get a nice um, panel line wash in there. These were definitely rounded and I sanded them uh, flat. There was a little bit of a protrusion here and I trimmed that off. 
Um, I'm gonna have to extend the top here a tiny bit by maybe one or two millimeters to accommodate this um, um, joint here because it's basically falling out now. <laughs> the biggest modification I think, other than the back the, the backpack, are the biceps, the upper arms. That was the first thing I thought of when going about this redesign or at least scratch building some new parts. So I wanted to definitely make sure I had these elbow pieces which it was lacking before and a, a bit uh, thicker upper arm. Um, I still think I'm going to flatten these out a bit so it's a bit more angular. Um, so a bit of work to go there. Um, you can see here on the top this is actually the original bicep sanded down um, to maintain that upper upper joint um, as well as some of the pegs in these forearms from another kit um, are removed but uh, this one here supports that one I'm gonna put like one more plow plate under there to uh, make a nice snug fit before gluing there we go so I'll be able to paint this separately um, as well as bulk up the elbow joints a little bit to make them look a little more mechanical. I'm going to bridge this gap here a little bit with some extra plow plate and now it's a full nine, uh, basically 180 degree bend at the elbow. So this will be kind of a nice flatter piece and this will hide the joint there a little bit but I think that'll be work a lot better. I modified the front skirt armor, or the basically the crotch armor, and I added some thrusters. Now these are actually the thrusters from the, I think the backpack, um, this guy here, from the thrusters that were in the back there. Um, but they're like the perfect size to fit here um, because I'm going to be beefing up the thrusters on the other side. Um, I think, and then everything here is going to get passes with um, putty, and then once the shapes are blocked out, um, I'll be doing a panel line or panel scribing pass on everything. Oh, <laughs> also, I have to fix this. I had the legs attached today and I was removing them and I was not careful and this guy snapped right off. <laughs> was not happy about that. Uh, but I think I should be able to drill into here and find a, a brass rod. But I think that's it for now. Uh, hopefully next time I show stuff I'll have uh, things like this all glued up um, with an extra layer of plot plates so it's more structural and maybe the the attachment points here. My goal is to finish all the attachment points and major forms uh, before doing the uh, finishing with the putty um, sanding and then once that's all done again go through with the panel scribe. Um, but so it's got a little ways to go but I think I'm making a lot of progress which is good. Um, oh also the next part would be the ankles and the attachment points. Um, so I'll have to go through a similar process, I think, as I did with the backpack here with some kind of R&D to figure out what I want. But, um, yeah, I'll show you that next time. Great, see you guys.